ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. We are ready to begin our main event. We are ready to show you how you can use the black box stocks trading system to help you achieve your financial goals. In just a few short moments, I will introduce you to the Black Box Stocks website. Before I take you to the website itself, I want to give you a little bit of background information on us. Black Box Stocks is not just a group like others out there where you are paying for buy and sell alerts from one person on stocks that can be easily manipulated and easily lose you money. What Black Box Stocks is is a complete trading system like nothing available anywhere else in the world. The meat and potatoes of Black Box Stocks is a website-based platform that provides you with pre-market, live market, and post-market scanners that alert you of unusual market activity using various algorithms just like the major institutions use. And they have undergone thousands of hours of backtesting from us to make sure that they are efficient. This information is not strictly limited to the cheap low float stocks, but the data that you will have access to watches over the entire stock market, all of the NASDAQ, all of the New York Stock Exchange, and all of the OTC stocks as well. The alerts that we provide have to do with price movement and volume. On the option side of things, we have a real-time market monitoring system that looks out for unusual activity and lets us know what is taking place in real time with very specific, easy to understand language to let us know exactly what is happening. We provide all of this to you while at the same time providing you with a real-time news feed to help you keep track of why the stocks you are focused on are moving. We also provide a state-of-the-art advanced charting system, tons of educational resources like this webinar right here to help you follow the golden rule of always educating yourself. And we provide much, much more all right in one place. To top all of this off, part of our complete trading system is our trading rooms, complete with text and live voice, full of like-minded traders, which we have for both stocks and options these rooms can be accessed from a pc and using a mobile phone so no matter where you are you will never have to trade alone again in our trading rooms we have experienced traders not just followers who stay silent and follow one or two people we have highly experienced traders that share their trades all day long in our trade rooms and on voice but the beautiful thing about what our traders are doing is that our traders do not manipulate the price of the stocks or the options that we are dealing in. Most of the time we're focusing on the big blue chippers, which are much, much harder to manipulate than the low float stocks that other services out there are usually dealing in. So. You don't ever have to worry that someone else in the community is making money off of your buys while you stand to lose money. Our community is highly interactive. Everybody helps everybody to learn and achieve their financial goals. And I'm going to take you more into our trade rooms in just a few minutes. First, let's go through all the aspects of our system. We've got our stock page for the New York Stock Exchange NASDAQ. And we have a separate page for the OTC stocks. Then we have another page strictly dealing in options. These three pages share the following components. There are alert logs, there are scanners, there is volume ratio information, there is a real time news feed, there is our stock trade room with highly experienced traders, then we have stock twits integration and much, much more. So where do we start? Well, it's important to keep in mind that we should always have a daily routine. It's just like the gym. Repetition creates rewards, and your routine should involve focusing on the top gainers. We should always be reviewing the scanners to see what is really moving and keeping our eyes on the charts and the news feeds that are available so that we can see what's happening and why 
with the stocks that the system has alerted us to. At the same time, it's important to watch over the consensus plays, watch over what everyone else is doing. We offer two different rooms. Our options community trade room can be accessed on Discord, which is the most secure discussion platform of its kind, and our other trade room, which focuses mainly on stocks, can be accessed right in the Black Box Stocks website. No matter what you like to trade, whether it's stocks or options, you can be sure that we have a place for you to be around other like-minded traders with tons of experience to help you learn and grow as a trader. Also, be sure to check out our YouTube videos to get more detailed information about how you can use all of the aspects of the black box stocks trading system to achieve your financial goals. Now, with all that being said, let's head on over to the black box stocks trading system website and do a walkthrough on how to use the alert system. And I'm personally going to show you in detail how everything works. And at the end, I'm going to show you a couple of combinations and routines that you can keep in mind to help you make money. Let's head on over. So when you first land on our web page, this is what it looks like. Very clean, very organized. Everything is very accessible to you. Everything that you are looking at here is crucial to helping you become a successful trader. And I'm going to show you why. Let's start on the stock side of things. Right now, I'm under the tab up here that deals with the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. You'll see that we have the Q's price information right here in the center and the Dow Jones Industrial Average price right next to it. This is to help you see and track the movement of general market conditions overall for the day. We also have our charting section here, which I'll load up, our amazing volatility indicator, which again, I'll load up in just a second. Then we have our alert log. Our alert log is going to be empty in the morning. And as the alert log begins to populate, the top gainers panel over here will begin to populate with the top gainers of the alerts that we have provided. Then we've got a real-time news feed right here. And all the way over to the right, we have an interchangeable panel. And this panel is what I like to call the black box stocks panel of power. And I'm going to show you why I call it that in just a minute. So let's, uh, let's focus in. Let's focus in and show you how everything here works. First of all, you click on any stock that was alerted or any stock in our top gainers, or you can enter any stock that you want to see a chart for right here. What's going to pop up is a chart and our volatility indicator is going to load up. Our charting system is very advanced. You can pick any time frames you like. You can pick any type of charting style that you like, whether you like Heikinashi's, candles, bar charts, you can select them. Then we offer all of the most popular indicators that are out there. And if there's an indicator that you want that is not offered, you can always make a request for it and we can add it. Once you have a nice chart set up for yourself, you can save the view to load it up at a later time. Want to expand the chart a little bit? No problem. Click that button right there and what's going to end up happening is the chart is going to expand and the volatility indicator and the top gainers are going to disappear. So how do we use this volatility indicator? Well, Generally, what you'll notice about our volatility indicator is that when it, pitch, when it pitches all the way over to the right and it stays there consistently, that is indicative of an imminent rise in price. When you see the volatility indicator pull sharply over to the left, that is indicative of an anticipated fall in price. Our volatility indicator is literally reading the level twos and the times in sales for you to tell you what it all means in terms of probability of future price movement. This volatility indicator is as good as gold and really just priceless for those of you who like to scalp or trade directional momentum. If you want to see the most volatile stocks of the moment, you can just click volatility 
and boom, the most volatile tickers will load up for you. And you can click and you can see how the volatility indicator is moving. We're moving into the later part of the afternoon, but here we go. You see it right here. The volatility indicator is slightly edged to the left. And we're seeing a fall in price. I better not get the hiccups here or else everyone is going to hear me slamming my head against my desk. Now, let's go back over to the time section. And I'm going to leave the volatility indicator on, uh, on Tesla open for you so you can see that it works and how it works. Volatility indicator pitched to the left. The sharper to the left, the steeper the price movement is going to be, and vice versa on the right. So let's go into our interchangeable panel here. The first button that you'll notice is an alert stream. This alert stream is giving you information that is compiled watching over the entire market. It is literally giving you access to information over the entire market. What kind of information does it give you? Well, it'll give you halt information. When a stock gets halted, you'll see it there. If something has new 52-week highs, new 52-week lows, if there is an intraday, uh, intraday multi-highs, if there is multi-day highs to help you spot those multi-day breakouts, and we provide dark pool information. Dark pool information is really a brand new feature that we've added and it is something that some other services exclusively charge you about 30 or 40 dollars a month just to have access to dark pool information and we provide it for you complimentary as part of your subscription to our family of traders the dark pool information is really where the bigger institutions place their trades to not disrupt actual trading prices. Uh, so that's what the dark pool is. And if you ever want to filter out information on the alert stream, we just added this brand new feature where you can now filter out. If you only want to see dark pool, no problem. You only want to see highs or lows, spikes, halts. If you only want to scan over low float stocks, if you like trading low floats, you can do that here with our alert stream filters. Now, let's say that you want to zero in on stocks that are trading under $5 or stocks that are trading over $100. How do you do it? Very simple. You go right here and you can now click under 100, over 100, and anything that you do here is going to completely change the alerts that you're being shown and it's going to completely change the information that's popping up in the alert stream. This alert stream is really awesome. It's awesome. It allows you to really laser in on something. You find some, you find something that catches your eye and you can now zero in on it. And it's really simple to zero in HRS. I'm noticing there's a couple of highs here, three new 52 week high alerts. All I have to do, boom, click on HRS. Now the stock is going to load up in the chart. The volatility indicator is specific for HRS. And at the same time, you're going to see all of the day's alerts for HRS load up in the panel of power. So that is how you can zero in on something. Next up, let's talk about the next button on our panel of power here. We've got our pre-market scanner. I'm going to go over our pre-market scanner and our live market scanner right now for you. Our pre-market scanner is going to show you what the leaders are in the pre-market. It will also show you what the top losers are in the pre-market. So our live market scanner will provide you with the same information. The top leaders of the day so far. Now, and the top losers. Now, this can be really a big help for people like me that are on the West Coast because I'm not always able to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and keep up with the pre-market. Sometimes I even come late to regular market hours. So what I can do is I can just click on the pre-market scanner and the live market scanner and boom, 
I'm instantaneously caught up with market activity in seconds. And if I want to zero in on something, I can just shoot right in and zero in. Now, we also have a proprietary post-market scanner. We are the only company anywhere in the world with a post-market scanner such as the one that we offer. Why and how is that? Well, our post-market scanner, it's blank now because we're still doing market hours. Our post-market scanner starts at zero in after-market trading in terms of our volume counter. Our volume counter starts at zero in the post-market. We are the only place in the world that I know of that offers this kind of function. So what we can do is load up our post-market scanner in the post-market and boom, now you've got the live volume count for post-market trading only. Post-market scanner, only one in the world of its kind that I'm aware of anyway. Then we went over our live market scanner then we've got our volume ratio scanner. This is telling you what the leaders are in volume compared to their average. For example, JMU is trading 8 million shares today, and that's 149 times its average volume. So you've got a volume ratio scanner to help you see what is really cooking what's got a lot of activity to it now what if you want to know what is causing all of this madness on the stocks that you're focused on well this is one of the coolest features that black box stocks offers you and it is a real time up to the second live feed of streaming news and you can access it by clicking right here this news comes from fly on the wall and what you'll notice if you go to fly on the walls website is that fly on the wall costs $40 a month for access to their streaming news feed. And there it is $40 every month, but you get it as part of the black box stocks family of traders complimentary as part of your subscription. So let's go on back and let's go on back to the volume leaders. And let's see. All right, JMU. And I noticed that there was an alert on JMU. I click on JMU. Now JMU loads up in my chart. Now all I'm going to see in my news feed is the news that is specific to JMU. Well, here it is. Here's the news. JMU acquired Unicorn Investment Limited. This news broke at 5 a.m. today. When did the stock start moving? When did we alert it? Well, we alerted it at 5.08 a.m. So you could really get a nice jump on the market by having access to our news feed. Look, the fact is staying ahead of the news lets you stay ahead of the market. And the black box stocks trading system makes sure that you're always able to get the news fast, first, and free as long as you are a part of our black box stocks family of traders. If you want to see all the news in real time for the entire market, you just click all news and bam. Now you're getting all of the news PRs in real time as they drop. Now, the next button we have in our panel of power is our main room. It takes you over to our main room. Our main room is where you will see updates being posted to our family of traders. We'll also do some chit chat about stocks in here and people can ask questions in here and our moderators will answer them as soon as we can. But I also told you that we have a stock trade room right in our website. Well, how do you access that? Well, if you want to go into our stock trade room, all you have to do is click this button right here, this flashing little icon up in the corner. When you click that during market hours, you'll see you've got the option to click on TIA 1. You click there and boom, you are in TIA's trade room. TIA is a trader with super high intelligence and many years of trading under her own belt. She really has trading built into her DNA. 
Her father is also an experienced trader, and he taught Tia very, very well. She's always making amazing calls. She's able to teach and has a super tight level of laser focus that has served every single trader who has traded alongside her in helping them grow their accounts and learn to be more self-sufficient. If you're a stock trader, this trade room with Tia and the other traders alone is an amazing advantage to have over others in the market. And Tia is here every single day during market hours. At the same time, you can actually create your own channel too if you're more advanced and you wanna share some of your own knowledge and information and hold your own classrooms. You just go right up here and you go to my channel. Take note, volatility indicator pitch to the left. Look at what the price action is doing. This is going to help us find when the pullback is. When the pullback ends, the volatility indicator will start to pitch sharply to the right. Again, volatility indicator as good as gold. And I wanted to leave it up and loaded for you so you could actually see with your own eyes that it works. The next button we have down here in our panel of power is our stock twits integration. For those of you who like to see who is staying what on stock twits, you just click right over there. And now stock twits will scan all of the posts being made about the ticker that you have loaded up. Now, I want to talk about the alert log. I know you see all of these alerts. There's different colored alerts. What do all of these alerts mean? What are all of these colors? Well, I'm going to go over that for you. I'm going to go over for you what it all means. And uh, if you ever need a refresher course, you can just hover right over the alert log question mark that's there for you. And it will give you a nice breakdown of everything that I'm right about to go over with you. So first things first, let's go over the pre-market alerts. There are three of them. We've got blue, red, and tan. The blue is a price spike in the pre-market alert. First thing you need to know about all of our alerts, let me backtrack. Nothing will alert in our alert log unless it meets a minimum share and dollar volume requirement, which is calculated by our system according to each and every individual stock price. The reason why we have this requirement in place is we do not want to alert you to stocks that are not going to be liquid. So when we alert you to a stock, we know that it has so far met a minimum requirement where our system deems it as being liquid enough for us to trade in. So let's go back. The blue, the blue alerts, pre-market price spike, will only occur when our algorithm detects that the stock is experiencing unusually high volume and is trending upwards within certain price parameters respective to the previous day's close. Then we've got our red, our rapid decline alerts. It's kind of like the opposite of the blue. These are rapid decliner alerts. Again, pre-market alert, and it will only be triggered when our algorithm detects that the stock price is down significantly from its previous day's close and that it's continuing to trend downward within a certain period of time. Then we've got our usual suspect alerts. Our usual suspect alerts tell us that this is a stock that we've alerted in the past and it has a history of large intraday gains. Now, during market hours, we've got three other colors. We've got purple, we've got white, and we've got turquoise blue. We haven't had any turquoise blue alerts today, and I'll explain why. The white is a price spike alert. This alert is triggered when a stock experiences a rapid increase in price in a really short period of time. Then we've got the volume alert, the purple. This alert will only be triggered when a stock is experiencing an unusual increase in volume. It must be unusual volume for this stock to be alerted. Now, the turquoise blue alert, which is this one, is our legendary retracement alert. This alert is highly, highly accurate, okay? And it will only be triggered when a stock has a nice increase in price in the pre-market and then comes back down to a level that our algorithm detects 
will be ripe for a retrace to the upside. It is a retracement alert, and it is very, very accurate. Now, let's move along. Let's move along. Let's move along. None of these alerts mean that you should instantaneously buy. But when we alert you to something, you should pull the chart up, watch the chart, check the news, see what's going on, make a decision from there. Now, let's head on over to the OTC tab. Layout is exactly the same. Everything is pretty much the same here. But what you'll notice about the OTC is many of these stocks are trading below one penny. We advise you to be careful if you do not have experience trading stocks with this kind of pricing. Yes, the movements can potentially be explosive, but so can the losses and the diarrhea that you may suffer as a result. If you're a beginner, tread lightly, build as you go. I personally used to be a major OTC trader for years, and I'll tell you why I shifted my focus over to options pretty soon. Nonetheless, you can see there are, again, different colored alerts, but they mean different things when dealing with the OTC. Generally, you'll only see white and yellow alerts here. And what they mean is pretty simple. The white alerts are the same price spike alerts, okay? And the yellow alerts, let's see if we've got any today. The yellow alerts are bouncer alerts. I'll show you what it looks like. This is an alert where our algorithm detects that the stock has experienced a sharp fall to a level that our algorithm deems will be ripe for a bounce up. As you can see, this bouncer alert is highly accurate, highly accurate. You can see here that INVU was alerted at 2.11 pennies and it bounced to a high of two and a half pennies and it bounced pretty quickly. So that's a, a pretty decent, almost 20% gain off our bouncer alert. Our bouncer alert is very accurate. I love, love, love this bouncer alert. Now, you should only play the gradual bounces like this one here. Some of them you'll see them go straight down and then immediately in the next bar, straight back up. What that means is there could be a shenanigans trade, meaning somebody arranged something fishy down there. You know, be aware, there are significantly less alerts coming through on the OTC because generally there's less algorithms being satisfied on OTC stocks. Now, similarly to before, if you want the alert stream to scan over and show you alerts from the entire OTC in general, just shift on over to our black box stocks panel of power Click the alert stream button, click all symbols, and boom, now you are getting live alerts to let you know what is happening across the OTC in real time. Again, we've got volume and news feed buttons. Our volume ratio scanner will show you what's moving on the OTC. Now, we've also got the news feed. So let's say that all right, DGTW, this thing had 155 percent gain today. Let's go over to the news and see what it's all about. Well, DGTY had some news yesterday. So, and it looks like this news came yesterday after market closed. So this morning it jumped and it just kept on climbing. But sometimes what you'll see on the OTC is a big movement and no news out. What does that mean? Simple. It means there's a stock promoter pushing the stocks in a pump and dump or there is an insider news leak that has not been released yet, or it really could mean any number of unsavory things could be taking place. The OTC is like the wild, wild west. Anything goes, and many people end up just getting shot. Not literally, but figuratively. So if you're not experienced in trading the OTC, tread lightly, go out there and learn, and gradually build up. Now, I mentioned before that I used to be a pretty big OTC trader, and while I still like to play in my old sandbox every now and again, I have shifted my focus over to options trading, and now is the time that I'm going to show you all why. This tab over here is where I click 
and it brings me to the part of the system that I like to call the holy grail for options traders. Now, when you click over to this area, what you'll notice is that the alert log expands, the volatility indicator disappears. This is because we have to provide you with a lot more information on these alerts. The charts stay there for you, the box on the bottom left stays there for you, but it shows you different information than before, which I'll talk about in a minute. And the black box stocks panel of power on the right also stays there for you. Now, what these alerts are, are unusual trades being placed in the various options for the tickers that are listed. These are trades being placed by huge institutions. And I'm going to break down for you what all of it means. But remember, you can always go to our alert log and our options log key will also break this stuff down for you. The first thing that we show in the alert is the time that the trade we picked up on was placed. Then we pick up, then we tell you what the ticker is. Then we tell you the expiration date, the strike price, whether it was a call or a put, the spot, which tells you where the stock was trading when we picked up this options trade. Then we've got details. How many contracts were traded? and at what price. These details may sometimes be followed by a letter or two, and I'm gonna go over what these letters mean. Then you've got sweep trade or block trade. A sweep trade, let's go over block trades first. A block trade is a trade that is usually tied to stock, and it is usually a single large trade executed on one exchange that is pre-negotiated. So let's say I own a lot of Apple shares. I'm long Apple, and I want to protect that position with some puts just in case Apple falls. So I go to my broker and I say, broker, sell me a thousand Apple puts at a pre-negotiated price. So I pre-negotiate the price with my broker. My broker makes a deal with me sells the options to me and the broker sells the options to me on one exchange. That is a block trade. Sweep trades are a little different. Sweep trades are larger trades that are broken up and executed across multiple exchanges. A sweep trade is a trade where I don't care who fills me, I don't care what exchange I get filled on, I just want my options. It is a more aggressive style of trading when you're placing an options trade. It's a more aggressive type of trade. Next to the type, we've got the value. How much money went into this trade? Then we've got IV, implied volatility, right here, convenient for you, right in the log. Now, let's go over what the colors mean and what the letters mean. Let's start with the colors. White trades are trades that have not exceeded open interest. Now, when you see a lot of white trades, those trades may then start coming through purple. That means that multiple trades have exceeded the open interest for today. When you see a yellow trade, that means that open interest was exceeded in one single trade. For example, GLD, 272 contracts on GLD were traded, and we know that open interest was not 272 today. So this exceeded open interest, and we know that it's an opening transaction. Let's talk about what these letters mean. We've got A, AA, B, and BB. A means that this trade was transacted on the asking price. AA means that this trade was transacted above the asking price. B, this trade was transacted on the bid price. BB, this trade was transacted below the bid price. So what does it all mean and how do we put it all together? You could filter out all of this stuff. Okay, we generally tell you to look for colored trades, so we kick out the whites, and we generally tell you to focus 
on at or above the ask trades. Now, when I set that filter, what this is going to show me, let's take a look at, let's take a look. Let me see if I can find a real good example for us here. Here we go. Here we go. For example, let's look at this Tesla trade. And you can always just click on a ticker and it will load up all of the trades for that ticker. All of the options flow that we caught for the day for that ticker. Let's take a look at this Tesla block. We know that this is an opening transaction. How do we know that? Because somebody bought 2,300 contracts, which exceeded open interest. And this trade was done above the asking price. So they were very aggressive in wanting to take this block of Tesla puts. We know it exceeded open interest and we know it was transacted above the asking price. So we know that's an opening transaction. Put trades above the ask are generally bearish for the stock. Someone is bearish on Tesla. Call trades above the ask are generally bullish for the stock. Whoever takes calls above the ask, they're generally being bullish. You can also get multi-leg trades if you want to include trade information for people who might have taken, you know, straddles or some other advanced options trading strategies. Right now, we're not seeing any advanced options trades. These are straight up trades. Now, and again, our filter is very refined. This is brand new. Our options flow filter and our alert stream filter, all of this stuff is brand new. We just added it in the last five to seven days. And you can filter out at or above the ask sweeps, okay? And you can really get a good jump on the market by doing that. Let's bring back the whites. Let's bring back everything. Let's bring everything back. Look at this. This is a whole lot of options information to try and filter through. This is a lot to try and make sense of. How am I supposed to make sense of all of this? It could be really tough. Well, we just added another new feature not too long ago to help us make sense of all of the options flow for the day. And it's our heat maps. And all you do is click right on the heat map. And now, boom you are getting a graphic representation of all of the options flow that we picked up on for the day. And the way you use this heat map is actually pretty simple. When you see blue text, that means most of these contracts were traded on or above the ask price. When you see red text, it means most of these contracts were traded at or below the bid price. When you see black text, it means most of these contracts were traded between the bid and the ask. You've got the strike prices running down the center. C0, the calls that expire this week. C1, the calls that expire next week. C2, the calls that expire in all subsequent weeks. P0, puts that expire this week. P1, puts that expire next week. P2, puts that expire in all subsequent weeks. Red shading is generally bearish for the stock green shading is generally bullish for the stock and look we've got a lot more bullish activity than we do bearish activity today right here in this sweet spot a lot of bullish activity on this tesla today and what happened stock is pretty bullish for the day it's trending upwards so this heat map can instantaneously get you acquainted with the full picture of what all of the options flow means. To the right of the heat map tab, we've got our OI tab. Our OI tab displays the top 100 puts and calls sorted by their largest increases and decreases in open interest for the day. You can use the filter keys to filter out if you want top calls, top puts, bottom calls, bottom puts, and what this is telling you is, for example, FCAU, January expiration, calls at a 1554 strike, which is a weird strike price. The OI is 50,000 today, and the change in OI is 50,000 contracts. 
So yesterday, somebody picked up 50,000 contracts on FCAU. And, uh, wow, they, they picked up a bunch. FCAU is the top four for the day. Ooh, wow, that's a big bet somebody placed for January on FCAU. Anywho, open interest information. And, again, you can always just load the symbol that you're interested in. If you want to see open interest changes for the symbol that you're interested in, you're more than welcome to do that. Then we've got the volume tab. The volume tab displays the top 100 stock or index symbols sorted by their total options volume for the day relative to their average volume based on a 10 day moving average. What this is telling you is AVYA had total options volume of 44,000 contracts traded today. The call volume was 43,000 contracts the put volume was 649 contracts. The put to call ratio is zero because more calls traded than puts. The average volume for these contracts is 3,211. So today's ratio is 13 times the normal amount of contracts that traded. We've got call open interest. We've got put open interest. We've got the change in call open interest, and we've got the change in put open interest. Right here, very easy to access. Now, we've got an alerts tab down here. I'm going to skip over that for now, and I'm going to come right back to it in just a few minutes. Let's go back to our flow tab. This is our regular options flow tab where you'll land when you, uh, when you come to our, to our options page. Let's say, well, there's a lot of, I'm seeing a little bit of some ZM. Let's say I click on ZM. Well, there's not that much ZM traded for today in terms of options. What if I want to go back historically and I want to see, all right, let me see the last month of options traded for ZM. What I can do is I can go over to my historical tab. I can enter today's date in the end date. And I can go back. And for this, it's the 21st today. Let's go back to April 19th. And now I've got the entire last month's of options flow information right here in front of me to help me understand the bigger picture. If I, you know, if I see something that catches my eye and I want to see a little bit more, we pay for this data to be stored here for you. It's not cheap to store all of this options flow data, but we do it and we're happy to do it because we think it's integral to helping our family of traders become better traders. You know, when you can see the price history, it helps you in terms of probability for the future. Now, our news feed on the options side of things is a little different. It's going to start to show you news for options, for example, put spreads will now be, you will be alerted to unusual options trades right here in the options news feed. And also our news feed also provides like ratings, like upgrades and downgrades and things like that. You can also access that on the stock side of things, but the options news is a little bit different. And again, it comes from fly on the wall, $40 a month. You get it complimentary as long as you're a part of our family of traders. Now, what are some strategies that you can employ to make money on our system? Well, on the stocks and the OTC side, start with the alerts. Check the charts and make sure that the stock is moving in the direction of the alerts. Yes, there's going to be pullbacks, okay, but know why you're trading through news and stock twits or stock twits, whichever one you prefer. If you want to get into a trade, you can either enter if you if you've got the jump on the news or you can just wait for a pullback by watching the chart and the volatility indicator. On the option side, it's a little bit different. What we tell you to do is filter out all of the color alerts. Get rid of the whites so you're only focusing on the magenta and yellows. Focus in on sweeps and focus in on those that are moving primarily in one direction, whether it's calls or puts. 
check the charts and see that the price is walking up in agreement with the contract that you're interested in and trade in the direction of the trend, whether it's bullish or bearish. Just don't chase. Look for a pullback to get in. We tell our family of traders to look for some consistency in above the ask sweeps. Look for some consistency. Don't just find one and jump right in. What we want you to do is find some consistent above the ask sweeps. You can do at or above the ask sweeps. And we look for those tickers that have some consistency in above the ask sweeps. And we check to make sure that the prices of the contracts are slowly walking up so we can enter. That is what we tell you to do if you are going to comb through this options flow all day. What if you can't comb through this options flow all day? What if you've got a job and you can't, you know, you can't, you, you just, you can't stare at a desktop platform all day and go through options flow. It's not easy. Well, we've created five brand new algorithms that will alert you in real time wherever you are through your phone, just like a text message. And our algorithms go through the options flow for you and they identify potential trade setups and they alert our family of traders on Twitter of these potential trades. These are our brand new Twitter options alerts. And these alerts are a brand new feature and we get alerted roughly seven, anywhere from seven to 20 trades in a day. And these potential trades can be sent directly to your phone, just like a text message, as long as you have your notification settings configured to do it. And this is what they look like. Our private Twitter alerts look like this. Again, it's a members only for people that are a part of the black box stocks family of traders and the alerts come through and they tell you the time the trade was picked up that we're alerting you to, what kind of alert it is, which I'll explain in a minute, the symbol associated, the premium that was paid, the expiration date, whether it was a call or a put, and it will tell you, of course, the strike price and it will tell you how much money went into this trade. We've got five different alerts. We've got swift, they could be bullish or bearish. We've got steady, bullish or bearish. We've got our large, bullish or bearish. Then we've got our roulettes, which can again be bullish or bearish. Then we have our brand new repeater alert. And again, they can be bullish or bearish. The swift alert is triggered when our algorithm detects that the criteria that we have set is met within five minutes. The steady alert is triggered when our algorithm detects when all of our criteria is met in 60 minutes. So for those people that are trying to be a little bit more under the radar, we still catch them. The large alerts are triggered when a big yellow sweep fills at the ask price with a required dollar amount going into the trade. Our roulette alerts are yellow coded opening transactions that expire in the current week. These are a little bit more speculative, um, so you should trade them at your own risk, but using a good risk reward system, these roulette alerts are fantastic, and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Now, we also have our brand new repeater. The repeater tells us that there is consistently somebody picking up these contracts. Could be calls, could be puts. Repeater alerts. Now, let's take a look at how we track these things. When something gets alerted through Twitter, it will automatically get shot into our alerts panel. Now, not all of them are gainers right now, but if you look, I'm pretty sure the majority of them were potential gains at one point or another. Let's take a look. This alerted at 10 cents, went to 15 cents. There goes 50% gains. This one, this one is the one straggler we have for the day that wasn't a potential gainer. 
But look at all the rest of them. Alerted 92, went to 95. Alerted 120, went to 165. Alerted 128, went to 143. Alerted 390, this one kind of stayed flattish. Alerted 232, ran to 256. Alerted 230, ran to 301. Alerted 120, ran to 135. Alerted 420, ran to a high of 640. So all of these alerts were potentially profitable at one point or another today. It's one thing if you can program an algorithm that's going to be right, you know, two or three out of five or ten times. It's another thing if you can program an algorithm that's going to identify profitable trade setups nine out of ten times. Our Twitter alerts are awesome, and if you've got a good risk-reward system in place, like we discussed in the SOX segment, that will ensure that your account will grow. Now... I've shown you the entire website. Now I want to take you over to our Discord trade room. When you go over to our Discord trade room, you'll be brought into the waiting room. Once you're in the waiting room, you will request to be ported over to our members-only channels, and those channels will then appear. Our channels include our training and resources channels where we provide classes and education. We also provide resources for you to you know, watch videos to expand your knowledge base. Then we've got our Catalyst channel. At the beginning of every week, we post what the upcoming Catalysts for the week are expected to be. We've got our earnings for the week right here. Then we've got our script section. Look, a lot of our family, we've got over, I mean, we've got thousands of people in our family of traders. A lot of them, are computer programmers and what they'll do is they'll program their own scripts and they'll share them here they'll share their own indicators that are homemade they'll share them sometimes you'll even see computer language like this right here that's posted by our coders our coders enter the language for the indicator so you could just copy and paste it right into your platform and now you're sharing in homemade indicators it's really cool i told you our family is very very contributive to one another then we've got watch lists our moderators post their watch lists generally every morning or so a couple of them do anyway then we've got our flex rooms our flex rooms is where we handle off-market stuff or stuff that is not directly related to current market activity. So if you're talking politics, we're going to send you to the Flex Room. Our Flex Room has a voice channel. You can do all of the polit politic flexing you want in our Flex channels. Also, during market hours, sometimes we'll do charting classes, live charting classes during mar market hours, and we'll do that in the Flex Rooms. Uh, flex Rooms have text and voice areas so that everybody can type and or be heard. Then we've got our main trade rooms. We've got our small account trade rooms, which doesn't get much action for those small account traders because everyone is welcome to trade in our main trade room. We've got our sheaf folio. Again, doesn't get much action, but some of the girls decided they wanted to have their own little, their own little trade room amongst themselves. So uh, we respect the hell out of ladies that trade. Uh, some of our best traders are ladies, and so everybody is welcome in our main trade room, which I'll take you to in just a few minutes. Then we've got our mod plays. Our mod plays is where our moderators are sharing their trades all day long. Take a look. Take a look for yourself. These are the kinds of trades that we are sharing. Generally, Maria does a great deal of the work in the, in the mod room. And her trades are just awesome, just awesome. You can see here today she alerted her YOLO, uh, her Tesla scalp at $1.38. She sold at $1.73. Then she scalped the Qs. She filled at $2.26. She sold at $2.31 and $2.41. I mean, last week she had a couple of hundred percenters. Let's look at Friday. Friday she scalped Roku. For 44 cents, she sold at 74 cents. Then she scalped Twilio. She bought at 51 cents. She sold at a dollar five. 
all of this stuff being posted in real time. Then again, on Friday, she scalped the queues. She filled at 40 cents. She sold at 48 cents, half. And then she sold the other half at 87 cents. These are the kinds of trades that our moderators post every day in our trade rooms that you can learn, follow, and grow from. Then we've got our main trade room and our main voice channel. You can see that there are hundreds here, hundreds of people in our voice channel. You would think that it gets kind of congested in there and that people are constantly talking over one another. Well, you'd be wrong. Everybody is very respectful of everybody else. One person talks at a time in our trade rooms. That's always the way it is. We even have a function there where you have to press a button to talk to ensure that nobody talks over anyone else and that no background noise comes through. In our main trade room, you'll see hundreds of ideas are being posted all day long. Charts are being posted. Thoughts are being posted. You know, everything here, you know, this is just in the last 20 minutes. I mean, it is a constant stream of information in our trading rooms. You will definitely have no problem uh, finding a setup. And if you have any questions, you can always ask in our trade rooms or tag one of us moderators. You can even tag me, Mr. McDeggins, at any time. And we're always there to help answer your quick questions. And like I said before, we have Q&A every Tuesday and Thursday in our Discord trade room after hours to help you with your more detailed questions. Let's take you over so you can meet the moderators. First off, like I showed you, we have Maria, then we've got Teresa, then we have Namish, then we've got Spectre, and we've got myself, Mr. McDeggins. All of us are in that Discord trade room. Then in our stock trading room on the website that I showed you, we have Tia. And the moderators, we're there to help identify trade setups. We don't hold ourselves out to be stock gurus. We're there to just help identify setups, keep the rooms running smoothly, and provide assistance to members of the Black Box Stocks family of traders. Moderators do not provide one-on-one -on -one trading lessons. We can't do that. It's not fair to the others that are in the trade rooms. Now, that is how our Discord channel works. Now it's time for my favorite part of the webinar. This is the part of the webinar where I usually show you some of the alerts and just a few of the great trades placed by our Black Box Stocks family of traders this week using the awesome Black Box Stocks trading system. This is this week in Black Box Stocks. Now, if you go on YouTube and you search this week in Black Box Stocks, you'll see all of the various results uh, videos that I have posted. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Today, I want to focus strictly on the Twitter alert function of the Black Box Stocks trading system. I've taken the liberty of going ahead and snipping every day, every day that I could remember anyway, of the options alerts so far for the month. We're going to go through a few of them. Look. May 2nd, we had two, four, six, two, four, six, eight. We had nine alerts, all nine of them profitable, raining, ranging from 2% all the way to 112%. The next day, the 4th, again, we had two, four, six, eight alerts. And five out of, no, nope, six out of those eight alerts were potentially profitable, ranging with gains from less than 1% to 58%. Another day of alerts, the sixth, we had two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 alerts. 11 of the 12 alerts were profitable with gains ranging from 8% to 
all the way up to 95%. These are same day gains, by the way. Again, the seventh, two, four, six, eight, nine alerts. And out of the nine alerts, seven of them were profitable. With gains ranging from 3% all the way to 133%, and two of them were over 100%. Now, look at all of these alerts on the 9th. Look at all of these alerts. 18 alerts. Yep, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 alerts. All 19 of them profitable. With gains ranging from 12% all the way up to 101%. Same day gains. Next up, let's go to the 11th. Two, four, six, eight, nine alerts, seven of them profitable. Gains ranging from 4% to over 290%. Two of them were over 200%. Next up, let's keep right on going. Look at all of these alerts from the 13th. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23 alerts. All 23 of them were profitable with gains ranging from 1% all the way up to 37%. Let's keep right on going. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 alerts. Seven of them, nope, 10, 10 alerts, eight of them profitable. With gains ranging from 1.4% all the way to 31.8%. Another day, the 20th, look at all these alerts. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 alerts, all 20 of them profitable with gains ranging from 1% all the way to 50%, you know, and so on and so on and so on. It's one thing if you can program an algorithm that is going to yield you profitable gains, let's say three out of five times. It's a whole other situation when you can program an algorithm with deadly accuracy such as this one. This is an extremely accurate algorithm system that we have programmed. And you can see for yourself, if you've got a good risk reward system, a good risk reward system in place, then this Twitter alert function really is going to be a major moneymaker for you. We have, I just showed you 128 alerts. And out of 128 alerts, let's see how many we had profitable. Seven, 19, 23, eight. 20. Out of 128 alerts, 110 of them were profitable. That is a deadly accurate system. Our Twitter alert function is awesome. And if you've got a good risk reward system in place, like we discussed in the stock trading section, then this Twitter alert function will help you make money, money, money. Again, the key is good risk reward system in place. Now, I've shown you that. Now I want to show you just a few testimonials. I'm going to show you just a couple of them, actually. I want to first point out Eric. Eric writes, I just want to thank all of you guys. I had an awesome swing overnight, and I owe the profit to all of you. It was as good an exit as I could have asked for. Normally, I would have panicked and sold that first red candle, but I learned from you that usually, not always, but usually, the first red candle is wrong, and I played the trade out calmly. First candle of the day is usually wrong, and you played the trade out calmly. 
then he says, thank you. You are turning me and a lot of other newbies like me into traders and not followers. Eric, thank you very much for your kind words. We're happy to have you as part of our family of traders and you've been doing real well and I, I've been watching and seriously, look at all these reactions. Everybody's so happy. Everyone's happy to see other traders learning and do well. This really is a family of traders. Next up, I had to hide this member's identity for his own privacy, but what did he write? He writes, I just want you moderators to know. I was laid off in December and because of you all, I've been able to replace the income consistently. You change lives. This is why we do what we do. We don't want you all to be followers. We want you all to learn to be self-sufficient traders. All of you. We want you to be self-sufficient traders. We want you to learn how to use all of the resources that we provide for you to become a self-sufficient trader. We don't want you to be a follower. And now having seen all of that, the next question really naturally has to be, Mr. McDeggins, how much does all of this cost? Well, that's a good question. And I'm going to answer that question for you. But before I do that, I'm going to make you aware that there are other rooms out there that charge $2,400 all the way up to $25,000 per year to gain access to their chat rooms. No news feeds, no member trading discounts, no algorithms, no scanners, no advanced web platform like the one I just showed you. Just for a chat room with alerts made by a person not using any complex institutional algorithms, you could pay anywhere from $2,400 to $25,000 a year. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna show you the proof. I've taken the liberty of uh, snipping some pricing from some of the other services out there and what they offer in, uh, in relation to that pricing. This is a very well-known service. They charge $197 a month. And what do you get? You get access to their chat room, you get market commentary, which basically means people talking about stock in the chat room. I have no idea why they would list that twice. And you get a daily hot stock watch list. That's all you get. That's $197 a month. That's about $2,400 a year. And that's all you're getting. You're not getting anything advanced. You're basically getting access to their chat room and a watch list. That's it. Then there's this joker. This guy is a just makes me angry to see. He charges $500 for day trades, he charges $500 for swing picks, and he charges $750 to package them both up. And that's all you're getting are alerts, and they're not guaranteed to be profitable by any stretch of the imagination. This guy is a charlatan, and he's taking advantage of beginner traders. He's one of those guys that says that you can be rich by just being his follower. And it's just not true. And he charges an arm and a leg for it. And you might say, well, Mr. McDeggins, there's a silver tier down here. He charges 200 a month for the day trades, 200 a month for the swing picks, or 300 a month to package them together. What's so bad about that? Well, again, all you're getting are picks. And this silver tier is really not all it's cracked up to be. Because at the end of every month, you have to send this guy your statements with your personal identifying information on it. And what people don't know is that this guy is in Central Europe. And when you send him your statements, he goes through your account and you have to split any gains that you made as a result of trading with him. You don't get paid back for any losses that he caused you to have, but he does make you split your gains with him and you still have to pay him $300 a month. And again, the guy is in Central Europe. And if he decides to go rogue with your personal identifying information, he could do a lot of damage to you by having that kind of information on you. Central Europe, it's kind of tough to go after somebody. This guy is a thief, and uh, he's victimized a lot of people. He's actually pretty popular out there, believe it or not. And his room is like a revolving door. 20 people come in, 20 people go out. 20 people come in, 20 people go out. 
that's how he makes his money. He usually just gets people for a month, and then they're gone. Next up. I know you know this knucklehead, and I know you know these other knuckleheads that are like him. This is the banana head that's running around on YouTube and on any talk show that will allow him to have a platform, and he says, you can make a living trading stocks and you can be rich trading stocks all you have to do is read my free ebook well the catch is that his free ebook is a hook to get you to join his mentorship programs and these mentorship programs they really are all the same they have the same trick read my ebook join my program the program costs fifteen thousand dollars for the first year and then five thousand dollars per year after that or $25,000 for the first year and access for life. And what do you get for $25,000? What do you get? You get access to training. You get access, access to picks. You get access to a watch list. You get access to a market screener, which is basically a thinkorswim scan. And you get access to a trading chat room. Let's break that down. Training is educational videos. And the pro picks, again, it's people picking how to, you know, their stocks for the day. Then they got their watch list, a thinkorswim scan, and a chat room. $25,000. And let me tell you something. If the SEC comes along and shuts this knucklehead down, then he takes your $25,000 and runs. You don't get it back. It's in the contract. If for any reason the room gets shut down by the authorities, you forfeit your 25000 So you've seen there are rooms out there that charge $2,400 all the way up to 25000 a year to gain access to their chat rooms. So again, how much does it cost to join the Black Box Stocks family of traders? Well, I'll tell you what. If you want to gain access to the tons of resources that we just went over, you're not going to pay $25,000 a year. You're not going to pay $20,000 a year. You're not going to pay $15,000 a year. You're not going to pay $10,000 a year. You're not going to pay $5,000 a year. You're not even going to pay $2,400 a year. It's not even close. If you want to join the Black Box Stocks family of traders and you want to have access to all of the amazing resources that we just went over, it's only going to come at the cost of $99.97. That's $99.97 every month. That's less than the price of a cup of coffee every day at Starbucks. And I'll tell you this. Hang on tight because we also offer a special discount for those of you who decide you're going to take an annual membership when you join us. When you join us, if you select an annual membership... Your membership will only cost you $959 a year. That's less than $80 a month. That's a savings of $240 a year over the cost of monthly membership. And I'll tell you this, one way or the other, being a part of our family of traders automatically pays for itself. And I'm going to show you how. Regular TD Ameritrade client. If you make 10 round trip options trades, that's a total of 20 transactions. That's 10 buys and 10 sales. If you do that in just one month, it will cost you a minimum of $154 in commissions. And that's the bare minimum if you only trade one contract. If you sign up for the exclusive Black Box Sox Family of Traders discount with TD Ameritrade, and you trade the exact same 10 round trip options trades, you will only pay $20 a month. That saves you $134 a month in commissions. Add that to the $40 a month that you save by having access to the Fly News Feed with your membership, and every month you're saving $174, which is $75 more than the cost of a monthly membership. Joining the Black Box Stocks family of traders really is a no-brainer. It just makes sense. It pays you from the first 
day you join our family of traders. Even if you don't use any of our resources, it saves you money from the first day you join us. And with that, I got to say I'm proud of you because you made it. You have completed the Black Box Stocks Bootcamp webinar. You have learned what stocks and options are, and you have learned how you can use the Black Box Stocks trading system to help you achieve your financial goals through stock and options trading. You have seen how the Twitter alerts work. You have seen some of the testimonials from our Black Box Stocks family members. And most importantly, you have been shown the math. The math as to how being a part of our Black Box Stocks family of traders literally pays you money from the very first month you join us. And now you're ready to begin your journey to achieving your financial goals. You are ready to invest in yourself and join our family of traders. So if you're watching on YouTube, click the link in the description, join our family of traders, and we will see you in the trade room on the next market day. I want to thank everybody very much for joining us today and watching. We look forward to seeing you and learning with you as we all grow our knowledge, grow our family of traders, and grow our accounts. So long, everybody. I wish you a great and green day. And again, we will see you in the trade room.